أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Again a question mark Which way do you want to go? If you want to go towards the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So make his sabiqu ila maqfiratun min rabbikum Compete with one another Race with one another, another, to get the forgiveness of your Lord and to get the garden, the breadth of which is like the breadth and vastness of the heaven and the earth. It has been prepared for those who believe in Allah and His messengers. It is the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will grant it to whomsoever he will like. Wallahu zul fazl azim. And definitely, Allah has infinite bounty, immense bounty. So this is the, the path is fixed now. But on this path, there might be tests from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to go to to the real path of Muhammad and his his companions, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, رضي الله تعالى عنهم. They had the test. ولا نبل وانكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال ولا نفوس من الصبرات. At every step, harder and harder, severer and severer tests coming one after the other. But to be able to go through them. You have to keep one thing in view, and that is the necessary corollary of faith in Allah. What is it? Ma sabba min musibatin fil ardi wala fi anfusikum illa fi kitabim min qabli an nabra. Whatever affliction comes to you, either on a larger scale in the land, there are floods or something else of that sort, hurricane. But nafi anfusikum, or in your own, you are, you become sick, you meet an accident, or whatsoever. Illa fi kitab, all these things are already written in a book. Min qabli an nabraha, before we produce them and bring it forth. In nazalik ala Allahi yaseer, this is very easy for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the foreknowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not the predestination. For knowledge. Allah knows what will happen to you. And whatsoever will happen to you will be by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as we read in Surah Al-Tawbah, قُلْ لَنْ يُسِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا Nothing can come on us except that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for us already. And He is our Mawla. Whatever comes from Him, well, welcome. Whatever comes from him, it's welcome for me. So that you should not grieve for that which you lose and not rejoice on what Allah gives you. If you have lost something, this is also a test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether you are patient, you endure it, and whatever Allah gives you, it's again a test. Whether you are thankful, and you use it properly, according to the divine law, and to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both ways is equal. 
So don't be grieved at what you have lost. Be patient. Alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal. All praise be to Allah in all the conditions. Whatever has come to me from Allah, it's okay. I accept it. I welcome it. If he has given something to you, okay. Thank him. Use it in the best way for your own benefit of the hereafter. And for the benefit of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahu la yuhibbu kulla muqtalin fakhoor. And Allah does not at all like those who are arrogant and who get over delighted by these worldly things. You've got something and you feel over delighted. Allah doesn't like this. Alladina yabkharoon wa yamurun maasab al bukhl. Such are the people who are niggardly, covetous. They don't want to spend for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They know the honor and respect in this world is for the wealthy, for the rich. So keep the wealth with you, so that your honor and respect, you know, that is intact. Wa yamurun maasab al bukhl. And they advise and suggest other, others also. To be niggardly. Oh, you should be mindful of your future. What are you doing? You are spending everything for the deen of Allah. What will happen tomorrow? Maybe there is some emergency comes to you. What will you do? Your own sons and daughters? You don't think about their education, their marriages, etc., etc. And whosoever turns away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is self-sufficient. Rani, he doesn't need anything from anybody. If he wants a loan from you, it's only to see how faithful you are. He doesn't actually need it. And he is Hamid, the praiseworthy. Now comes the real axis of this surah. And in a way, the real axis, umud, of the whole of Quran. This insight into the deen, which is lacking today. لَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلَنَا بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ Verily, we sent our messengers with clear signs and proofs and clear teachings. Bayyanat, something which is self-evident, doesn't need any other proof. So the miracles were also bayyanat, and the basic teachings of all the scriptures, all the books of Allah, are also bayyanat. لَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلْنَا بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ وَأَنزَلْنَا مَعَهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْمِيزَانِ And we sent with them, sent down the book, the law, and the balance. Symbol of justice. What for? Most important part of this ayah. لَيَقُومَ النَّاسُ بِالْقِسْتِ So that the people should abide by justice. Not they should read and get sawab. And they should listen to the Qari sahab in Taravi and get sawab. Is that all the purpose for which Quran was sent? Or you can read it very beautifully. And there are contests of Qarat, Husni Qarat. Was this the purpose for which Quran was sent? Or you write down with golden wires. Is what is the purpose of Quran? Beautiful calligraphy. What is the purpose of sending down Quran? What is it? Now see, the purpose of the advent of the messengers, the purpose of the sending down of the books, purpose, purpose. It's not an exercise in futility. Alas, no action is purposeless. So all this, why? Sending messengers, sending down books, giving law, and the balance. What for? So that justice should be established and people should abide by justice. Now you know where there is injustice. There are two classes, the exploiters and the exploited. The oppressors and the oppressed. 
be downtrodden and be haughty. Will these exploiters or oppressors or be haughty ever like that the system of justice be established? Will they be ready to lose their all the whatever they have in this wrong system? Privileges? No. They are bound to resist. There will be some whose arwah and qulub are salim and safe. They will listen to your call and come to you. But not most of them. Most of the exploiters, oppressors, they will resist. They are bound to resist. They will say, guard up your loins, come on, stand up to protect your interests and your privileges. So there is going down, there will definitely going to be a conflict. And for that, Wanzal al Hadid, we have sent down iron. Fihe Basun Shadid. In this iron is the capability of fighting. Battle, weaponry, the sword and spears. There are other benefits for people also. Utensils or something or articles of use you can make. But actually, this is, uh, there is a view that iron and its compounds, they don't belong to this earth originally, they have come from the space. As meteorites, Anzalna al Hadid, we have sent down Hadid. If that theory is correct, then this word would shine, you know, like anything. The Quran used this word for Hadid, Anzalna al Hadid. We sent down Hadid. If this is true, I'm not very sure. But I have heard this that this view is there, that this iron and its compounds, they are not from this earth, they are from the space. As many rights, they have come. So now this is Anzal al Hadid, and we have sent down iron, Fihe Basun Shadid, in which there is a very powerful cap capability of fighting and going to battle. Wale Yalam Allahu Mayyan Suruhu wa Rusulahu Bil Ghaib. And so that Allah wants to know, wants to see. Who are those faithful servants of His who take this iron in hand and crush the heads of those who resist the establishment of the system of justice? And the system of justice is Islam. In the Deen, in the Lail Islam, the Al Haq, the total justice is Allah, Al Abd. He is the justice. Al-Adl is one of the names. Only he can give you the just political, socio-economic order. He is neither male nor female. So he can look to the interests of both, males and females. A male cannot imagine the feelings of a female. A female cannot have, you know, the understanding of the feelings of the male. Capital would look for its own benefits. Labor, it will strive for its own benefits. Rulers will wish to have more and more and more and more authority. And the people should want to have more and more and more and more freedom. We want to go on the streets naked. Who are you to stop us? Freedom. We want homosexuality. We are gays. Who are you to criticize? But the balance of justice between all these extremes, that is the deen al-haq. To establish the deen of haq those who are faithful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have to be ready to come to the battlefield with the iron in their hand, to crush the heads of those who resist. They don't want to let the deen of Allah established. 
ان اللہ قبی عزیز ویری لی اللہ از ہم سیلف ویری پاورفل ہی کو ڈو اٹ ان نو ٹائم بٹ دین ہاؤ وڈ دیز دوز ہو سی وی آر بلیورس ہاؤ ول دے بی ٹیسٹیڈ دس اونلی فار یور ٹیسٹنگ ادر وائز ان نو ٹائم کن فا یقون ون کمانڈ فرام ہم از سفیشینٹ دس ہول سسٹم آف فالس ہوڈ ول وینش لائک اینی تھنگ اینڈ دا سسٹم آف جسٹس ول بی اسٹیبلشڈ القوی العزیز ان اللہ قوی العزیز ہی از پاور فل ہی از آل دی اتھارٹی ہی کین ڈو اٹ ان نو ٹائم بٹ اٹس اے ٹیسٹ فار یو ہو آر دوز فیتھ فل سروینٹس آف اللہ ہو ڈیوٹ دیئر لائف ریڈی ٹو اسپینڈ دیئر لائف اینڈ آل بلونگنگس ٹو دی کاز آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی ٹو اسٹیبلش دی سسٹم آف جسٹس وچ ہی گیو ٹو ہیومینٹی تھرو ہز میسنجر محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم میں اللہ گیو اس دی کریج ٹو جوائن دس گروپ to be one of them to make a resolve that we have to live for this and die for this we have read 25 ayat of surah al hadid first six ayat refer to the person and attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the highest academic level then two demands amenu anfiqu then why do you not have faith a rebuke if you feel actually you don't have the real faith turn to quran second rebuke why don't you spend for the cause of allah and in that if the conditions are bad there is no hope for the establishment of the deen of allah still you spend for the deen of allah your energies your life your time and your belongings you will have greater regard than those who will be doing it after the attainment of victory then what is the objective of it and that is to establish the system of justice on earth given by allah subhanahu wa taala and for that a stage might come when you have to go to the battlefield but that is the last stage for that first of all there should be some propagation of the ideology then who whosoever accept it organize them train them and when this process reaches a certain level then only you can change the system but the final point has been mentioned laqad arsalna rusulana bil bayyinat وانزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقص ذا سيم ثينغ از وي ريد ان سوره الشورى وامرت لاعدل بينكم اي هاف بين سنت تو اسٹیبلش جسٹس امنگ یو اي ام نوت ا سوت سير اور ا سرمن سير اور ا پويت اور ا ستوري تيلر ذا ثينغ اوف دي سورت اي هاف بين سنت تو اسٹیبلش جسٹس فذس از دي ايسنس ناو ذير از ا مستيك اولسو when you are told that this life is nothing real life is of akhirah of the hereafter then sometimes there is a tendency for what we call ascetism rahbaniyat leave this world why marrying why having family life why bothering for all these things go to some caves or somewhere else solitary places just remember your lord have tried to have a communion with him but this is wrong islam says you don't love this world but you have to change this world live here change it you have to be an activist not a passive rahib an ascetic passive ascetic sitting aside sitting aside from the world he doesn't care whether there are injustices being done over here operations are being done over here though he doesn't care he is there in his monastery or something else sitting over there no 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 this is not islam so this actually was a mistake committed by the followers of one of the ulul azm min ar rusul and that was hazrat musi alayhi salatu wassalam people who came to believe in him 
دے ٹوسٹیڈ دے ریلیجن ٹوورڈس رہبانیت ایسٹزم سو دس مسٹیک از پوائنٹیڈ آؤٹ ہیئر ان دی ریمیننگ فور آیات آف دس سورہ اینڈ فار دیٹ پرپز اللہ سٹارٹس وتھ نوح ولقد ارسلنا نوحا و ابراہیم اینڈ ود اینڈ ویرلی وی سینٹ نوح اینڈ ابراہیم وجالنا فی ذریتهم النبوۃ والکتاب اینڈ وی پلیسڈ اور اور پروفٹ ہڈ اینڈ دی بک ان دی پروجنی آف نوح اینڈ ابراہیم فمنہ مختصد اوٹ اف دی پروجنی آف دی ٹو دیر آر ہو آر رائٹلی گائیڈڈ و کثیر منہم فاسقون بٹ موسٹ آف دیم آر ٹرانسگریسرس نا ثم قفنا على اثارهم برسولنا دین وی میڈ اور میسنجرز ٹو فالو ان دیر فٹ سٹیپس و قفنا بعیس ابن مریم اینڈ وی میڈ عیسا سن اف مریم ٹو فالو وجالنا في قلوب الذين تبعوه رافة ورحمة فاتناه الانجيل and we gave Isa انجيل the gospel and we placed in the hearts of those who followed him tenderness and mercy and compassion this was a special condition you know of the Havariyin of Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wassalam wa rahbaniyata nibtada'uha But monasticism and ascetism was something which they invented. Ma'akat abnaha alayhim. We have not made it compulsory on them. This was their decision. This was the wrong turn they took. Who took? Illa tizar is one illa. We had only made it compulsory for them to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then, when we, they adopted ascetism, فَمَا رَعَوْهَا حَقَّ رِعَيَتِهَا Then, they could not observe it with the due observance. فَآتَنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ So we gave to those of among them who had real faith and belief and who came to believe in Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم that can also be meant over here. To them we gave their reward وَكَسِيرٌ مِنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ But most of them are also transgressors. So this is to, to point out this wrong term. Don't love this world, but live in it. Try to fashion it on the right path. Take it to the justice, system of justice, and establish the deen of Allah over here. This is the test of your faith and your iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyuhu al-lazeen amanu taqullaha wa aminu bi rasoolihi yotikum kiflani min rahmatihi. Oh, you who profess to believe. Believe in Allah. I have fear of Allah and believe in His Messenger. What does it mean? The real conviction that the model for us is the person of Muhammad, we have to follow him. He was not an ascetic. He didn't start a monastic type of system. No. He fought for the cause of Allah. He was an activist. He challenged falsehood. He took his men to the battlefield, led them to the battlefield. So you have to follow him. See how during the Makki period he propagated his ideas. Then those who accepted Iman organized them, trained them with the permanent order and no retaliation, whatever persecution comes to you, verbal or physical, you don't, you have to take it patiently, without any retaliation. But then, when he thought he has now enough strength with him, he challenged the falsehood, the system, the ascendancy of Quraysh, he fought them, and then he established the deen of Allah in the Arabian Peninsula. So this is the model. Don't follow any other model. You have not to follow the model of Jesus. No. Model for you is Muhammad. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ عُسْوَةٌ حَسْنًا Jesus had his own methodology. But you have to follow Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. You are the Ummah of Muhammad. So here you know, اِتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَآمِنُوا بِرَسُولِهِ Emphasis on Iman on the Messenger. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا تَقُوا اللَّهَ وَآمِنُوا بِرَسُولِهِ يُوتِكُمْ كِفْلَيْنِ مِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ Allah will give you 
ٹو فولڈ فرام ہز مرسی ون اج ویج الکم نور ان تمشو نہ بہی اینڈ دین ہی ول گیو یو دی لائٹ ود وچ یو ول بی ایبل ٹو واک ٹو واک ان دس ورلڈ آلسو یو نیڈ اے لائٹ گائیڈنس اینڈ ٹو کراس دیٹ برج آف اسرات آن دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ یو ول بی نیڈنگ اے لائٹ اللہ ول گیو یو وی افر لکم وٹ ایور شارٹ کمنگس اللہ ول فار گیو دم اللہ غفور الرحیم ویریلی اللہ از فار گیونگ مرسیفل لے اللہ عالم آہر الکتاب اللہ یقدرون علا شائن من فضل اللہ سو دیٹ دی پیپل آف دی بک شوڈ ناٹ تھنک دیٹ دے ہیو ناؤ نو ایکسس اوور دی باؤنٹی آف اللہ دے ہیو دی ایکسس دے کین ایون ناؤ بلیو ان محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کم آمنو بھی رسول ہی یو بلیو ان موسیٰ یو بلیو ان ابراہیم اینڈ سو آن اینڈ سو فورت Don't believe in Muhammad also. So all the fuzzel, you know, the gates of fuzzel, you know, will, they will be opened. As we read in Surah Bani Israel, Asara Bokum and Yerhamakum, Bain Uttum Rudna. Your Lord is ready to have mercy upon you even now. Go you under the shelter of the messengerhood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The gates are open. The Allah yakun ahlul kitab. اللہ یقدرون علا شعین من فضل اللہ ان الفضل بید اللہ یوتی ہے بھئی شاہ The bounty is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala It's his prerogative To whom he wants He grants it Wallahu zul fadl azim And definitely Allah is of infinite bounty Now we come to Surah Al-Mujadila The first four ayat of Surah Al-Mujadila They discuss a particular issue of family loss. But the rest of the 18 ayat, they give us a picture of two parties. Party of Satan, party of Allah. As we have seen, when you know this dawa, this call to Allah, and the call to establish this system of justice given by Allah, When this Baba is given, there is bound to be a resistance. Then there will be a polarization in this society. Some people who come, accept the call, they are ready to devote their lives, even lay down their lives for the cause of establishing the deen of Allah. They are the party of Allah. Ulaika Hizbullah. They are the party of Allah. And there are those who oppose it to the nail. Even they sacrifice their lives to, pro to protect their interests. But they are the party of shaitan. Ulaik ahizbu shaitan. But this has to be identified. This struggle, this conflict, if we have a concept of mazhab, there is no conflict whatsoever. You go to your church, I am going to my mosque. That's all. He is going to the temple, he is going to the synagogue. Nothing. No argument. But regarding the system, a few people here are resenting these multinationals. What is happening? What happened in Seattle? When at Davos. But these, these, these things are to happen. So, when there is the question of system, it's a different matter. When only it's a system of belief and a system of some modes of worship and some rites and rituals and some feasts, well, no, okay, you can have your, I can have mine. But this conflict, if you want to establish the deen of Allah, then there is going to be a conflict. No escape. So this surah mainly, but you know that his was shaitan consists of two types of people. One are who are openly opposed, the disbelievers, the rejectors of the faith. And there is the other element, the hypocrites, who are legally with the Muslims, with the Hezbollah, but they are the fifth columnist. Fifth column. 
They look to the interest of the kuffar, working against the interest of Hezbollah. So this is very important surah regarding this. One thing must be clear here. This establishment of the deen of Allah is not possible without a party. Individuals cannot do it. It's very simple, very logical. An individual can go on calling and calling and calling and calling. But he cannot establish the system of Allah without having a party. If he doesn't get a party, okay, he won't be able to establish. If there was no party available to Nuh, alayhi salam, no harm to Nuh, the people were drowned. Muhammad got, sallallahu alayhi wasallam a party. People who were ready to sacrifice their lives, to spend everything they had. So then there was a struggle, there was a conflict, which reached the level of armed conflict. The polarization became complete. Hezbollah versus Hezbollah shaitan. And then, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the help and the deen of Allah was established. But party is essential. So first of all, please note that if you have the concept of Islam as that of a deen, you must think that to strive to establish the deen of Allah is farz. farz it's a duty, it's obligatory, not something additional, not something optional, no. It's not like the hajjud, no. It's fun, like the five prayers, like the fasting of the month of Ramadan, number one. And number two, this is the first which cannot be fulfilled without a party. Just as you cannot pray without wuzu. Wuzu is not required in itself. Wudu is the precondition, prerequisite for salah. Really what you want to do is salah, prayer. But for that is the precondition of wudu. In the same way, the first is to establish the deen of Allah, to try, strive your hardest to establish the deen of Allah on earth. But the prerequisite that you should be, you should be a part of a party, belong to a party. If there's no party, you stand up, call people towards you. They will join hands with you and it will be a party. If you are two, you have to pray in a jama'ah. One is amab, the other is muqtadi. If there are two, you are a party. One is amir, the other is mamur. But not without a party. But when this party swells in numbers, and you know their commitment and depth of commitment reaches that level. And you know their determination to sacrifice everything reaches the, that level, required level. Then there is a direct confrontation between Haq and Batil, between the truth and the falsehood, between the Hezbollah on one side and the Hezbollah shaitan on the other. So this distinction between Hezbollah and Hezbollah shaitan is the main axis of this Surah Mujadala. But in the first four ayat, as I told, there is a special family laws issue. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qad sami' Allahu qal lati tujadiluka fi zawjiha wa tashtaki ila Allah. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard the words of that woman who pleads with you, O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, concerning her husband and makes her plea to Allah. An incident took place. Aus ibn Sabit Ansari radiallahu anhu. He did zihar with his wife, Khala bint Salaba. Zihar in the old Arab tradition was that if a husband said to his wife, You are to me like a mother, or like the back of my mother. Now they are separated, divorced. And there can be no, you know, reunion again. That's whatsoever. No way. Complete. Permanent separation. Now in a fit of anger, Osim the Sabi said this to his wife, Khala bin Salama. They had children. 
Now Khala came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was weeping, crying. What shall I do? What has this my husband done? Where will these children go? How shall I support them? Weeping, crying. Oh, Muhammad, find some way for me. And the Prophet said, I don't find any way. No revelation has come to me until now. But then the revelation comes. And Allah said, لَقَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ اللَّهِ تُجَادُلُكَ فِي زَوْدِهَا O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, verily, indeed, Allah has heard the words of that woman who was pleading with you, O Prophet, concerning her husband, and make, also she was making pleas to Allah. O oh Allah, send some, open some door for me, O oh Allah, where can I go? So Allah said, we have heard. Wallahu yasma'u tahabu rakama. And Allah was hearing the conversation between you. In Allah Samiyam Basir, where really Allah is all seer and hearer. Now comes the solution. Allah Zina Yuzahiruna Minkum in Nisahim. Those of you who say concerning their wives, be as my mother's back. Mahunna Ummahatihim in Ummahatuhum illa Allahi waladnahum. They are not their mothers. Their mothers are only those who gave birth to them. وَإِنَّهُمْ لَيَقُولُونَ مُنْكَرًا مِنَ الْقَوْلِ And surely they are saying a very loathsome word. وَزُورًا And a lie. إِنَّ اللَّهَ الْعَفُوَ وَالْعَفُورِ Verily Allah is pardoning, forgiving. وَالَّذِينَ يُدَاهِرُونَ مِنْ نِسَائِمْ ثُمَّ يَعُودُونَ لِمَا قَالُوا As for those who do this jihad to their wives, but then they want to take back. فَالتَّحْرِيرُ رَقَبَةٍ مِنْ قَبْلِ اِنْ يَتَمَاسَ So one slave has to be freed before the two of them touch one another. This is the fine. فَمَنْ لَمْ يَجِدْ ذَلِكُمْ تُوَعْذُونَ بِهِ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ This is to what you are exhorted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He knows and He is aware of what you are doing. For Balam Yajid, whosoever cannot free a slave, he doesn't have that much money with him to buy a slave and then free, set him free. فَسَيَامُ شَعْرَيْنِ مُتَطَابِعَيْنِ مِنْ قَبْلِ يَنِيَ تَمَاسَ So now he has to keep fast for two months, consecutive months, before the two of them touch one another. For Balam Yajid, and if somebody is sick, ill, Diabetic, for example, and he can't do it. Then he should feed 60 indigent persons. This is so that you should know and be convinced that you have the real faith in Allah and His Messenger. And these are the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for the Disbelievers, there is a very painful chastisement. Now these are the four ayat which have a different issue altogether. But now the issue connected with Surah Al-Hadid. Because these two surahs are on a pair. Now that conflict between Haq and Batil, Deen Haq, and those who oppose it. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُحَادُّونَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ Verily those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. Yuhadun is from Hadid. The same root. Had, Hadid. Yuhadun, Yuhadidun. Babi Mufala. In the Ladina, Yuhadun Allah wa Rasulahu. Those who oppose, tooth and nail, Allah and His Messenger. Kometu kama kometu al Ladina min kablihim. They will be humiliated, as were those humiliated who were before them. فَقَدْ أَنزَلْنَا آيَاتٍ بَيِّنَاتٍ And we have already sent down very clear revelations. وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَامٌ مُحِينَ And for these believers, there is going to be a humiliating chastisement. يَوْمَ يَوَسُمُ اللَّهُ جَمِيًّا فَيُنَبِّهُ بِمَا عَمِلُوهُ On the day when Allah will raise them all together, and then He will tell them what they have been doing. Asahu Allah. Allah has Allah had kept a record of their deeds. Wanasu, they had forgotten. 
Wallahu ala kulli shayin shaheed. And verily Allah is a witness to everything. Alam tara anna Allah ya'lamu maafi samawati maafi al-arth. Don't you know? That Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Ma yakunu min najwa salasat. And now this is the fifth columnist portion of the Muslim ummah, the munafiqoon. They used to have, they used to have secret meetings, secret consultations, planning against the Prophet, against the Muslims, going to the Jews and, you know, saying that we will be with you and so on and so forth. So this secret counseling, Allah knows everything which is in the heavens and the earth. مَا يَكُونُ مِن نَجْوَى سَلَاسَةٍ إِلَّهُ وَرَابِعُونَ There's no, there's nowhere a secret consultation between three of them. But the fourth is Allah. هُوَ مَعَكُمْ اَنَا مَحْكُمْ تُو Wherever you are, He's with you. So you think we are three? No, you are four. Allah is there. وَلَا خَبْزَةٍ إِلَّا وَأَسْعَدِسُهُمْ And if they are five, then Allah is the sixth. وَلَا عَدْنَا مِنْ ذَلِكَ And no less than that. وَلَا عَقْسَرَ And not more than that. إِلَّا هُوَ مَعَهُمْ اَيْنَمَا كَانُوا But He is with them wherever they are. Now we had this ayat in Surah Al-Hadith. هُوَ مَعَكُمْ اَيْنَمَا كُنْتُمْ Here only the pronoun has changed. هُوَ مَعَهُمْ اَيْنَمَا كَانُوا ثُمَّ يُنَبِّهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Then on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, He will tell them what they had been doing. إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِكُلِّ شَيْنِ عَلِيمِ Verily, Allah knows everything. أَلَمْ تَرَا إِلَى الَّذِينَ نُهُوَا إِنْ نَجْوَا Don't you consider those who were forbidden from these secret counselings? This comes in Surah An-Nisa also, also at some other place. But now these ayat, as I've told you, they have they were revealed in the last period of the Madani days. Summa yaudunu le manahu anhu. But they are doing what they were prohibited to do. Vayatana jauna bil ismi wal udwani wa masiyati rasul. And they are having secret consultations among themselves for sinning and enmity and disobedience to the messenger. وَإِذَا جَاوُكَ حَيَّوْكَ بِمَا لَمْ يُحِيِّكَ بِهَا اللَّهِ And when they come to you, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, they salute you with what, with which Allah has not saluted you. The salutation in Islam is As-salamu alaykum. These munafiqoon, when they used to come, they should say, As-salamu alaykum, ya ayyuhal nabi. As-salam means death. Death to you, O Messenger. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu alaykum. Omitting the lam. In between. If somebody said, what have you said? Oh, I said, Assalamu alaikum. What has happened to your ears? Go and get the wax out of your ears. I said, Assalamu alaikum. But this was their method. وَيَقُولُونَ فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ لَوْ لَا يُعَزِّبُنَ اللَّهُ بِمَا نَقُولُ And then they say in their hearts, whatever we have said, why is not Allah chastising us? It means He is not the Prophet of Allah. Had he been the Prophet of Allah, we have, we have insulted him. Allah should have chastised us immediately. But he is not doing it. It means he is not. This proves it is, he is not the Messenger of Allah. Hasbuhum jahannam yaslawnaha wa basal masir. For them, sufficient is the hell. And they will enter it. So, and it is a very bad and evil destination. يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا تَنَاجَيْتُمْ فَلَا تَتَنَاجُوا بِالْإِسْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ وَالْمَاسِيَةِ الْرَسُولِ Oh, you who believe, if you have ever to consult secretly, your secret consultation should be not for sin or enmity or disobedience of the Rasul, but تَنَاجَوْا بِالْبِرِّ وَالْتَقْوَى do this consultation for virtue and piety. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهُ الَّذِي لَهِتْ وَشَرُونَ And fear Allah to whom you will be gathered anyhow. إِنَّمَا النَّجْوَى مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ This secret counseling, party within party, the Hezbollah, but they have a special group in that Hezbollah. So this is conspiring. إِنَّمَا النَّجْوَى مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ This najwa is actually from Satan. لَيَحَزُنُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So that 
he those who believe they should be hurt walaysa bi darrihim shay'an but he cannot do any harm to them illa bi idnillah but with the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ala allah falyatawakkal al mu'minun and verily in allah should all the believers put put their whole trust ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu idha qila lakum tafassahu fil majalis fasahu yasahi allah lakum O oh, you who believe when it is said to you, make room in the assemblies, then do make room. What used to happen, you know, the Muslims have gathered, the prophets there, some consultation on some matter is continuing. Now these Munafiqeen used to sit in one corner, very close to each other, whispering to each other, so that others shouldn't listen. And you know, when it was said, okay, the first of will majalis. Open the place between you. Why are you so much grouped together? So, for the believers, it was the commandment. Whenever it is said, make room in the assemblies. Do make it room. Allah will make room for you. Ya sahilaul akum. By the aqil al shudu, for shudu. And when it is said, stand. You should stand. When it is said, the, the assembly is dismissed. The parade is dismissed. Now you go. But they used to keep sitting over there and and continuing their you know mutual consultations. فَنْشُدُوا يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَاتٍ Allah Ta'ala would exalt those of you who believe and those who have been given the knowledge. وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ And verily Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala very well knows and is aware of what you are doing. يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا نَاجَيْتُمُ الرَّسُولَ فَقَدِّمُوا بَيْنَ يَدَي when you have to have a secret meeting with the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these munafiqeen, because they were very wealthy people, to show off that we have a special position, they would say, Ya Rasulullah, I want to say something to you in secrecy. So please give me time. Now, the other congregation thinks that he is very close to the Prophet, and the Prophet listens to him. So now, to put a check, this order came. When you have to, you want to have a secret, a private meeting with the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. فَقَدَّمُوا بَيْنَ يَدَيْنَ جِوَاتِكُمْ صَدَقَةً Give alms before your counselling. Give something to the poor before doing this. ذَالِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَأَثَرٌ This is much better for you and more purer. فَإِنْ لَمْ تَجِدُوا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ But if you are very poor, you don't have anything, okay? Allah is forgiving and merciful. For the poor, there is no harm. But those rich munafiqs, if they want to have a secret meeting and hearing with the Prophet ﷺ, they should give something in the way of Allah first and then come. Now those people, they loved wealth like anything. Now they stopped. <laughs> have you become afraid of giving arms between your secret meeting with the Prophet ﷺ? فَإِذْ لَمْ تَفَعَلُوا وَنْ يُوْ دِلَنْ دُوِتْ وَتَعَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has relented on you. Okay. He is giving the concession. فَتَعَبَ عَلَيْكُمْ فَأَقِيمُ السَّلَاةَ Now at least establish this law properly. وَعَتُوا زَكَاةَ And do pay zakaة definitely. وَعَتِيُوا اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ And obey Allah and His Messenger. وَاللَّهُ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعَمَلُونَ I verily and surely Allah is aware of what you are doing. Alam tara ila ladhina tawalla qawman ghazib Allah wa alayhi. Have you not considered those who have become friends with those on whom there is wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who are they? The Yahud. Baghzubi alayhim. Baghzubi alayhim Yahud. And these Munafiqs, they had friendship with the Yahud. They are, in some cases, working agents to Yahud. أَلَمْ تَرَى إِلَى الَّذِينَ تَوَلَّوْا قَوْمًا غَزِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ مَا هُمْ مِنْكُمْ وَلَا مِنْهُمْ These munafis, these hypocrites are neither from you nor from them. They are sincere to neither you nor them. They are sincere to none. They are not sincere to Allah. They are not sincere to the messenger of Allah. How can they be sincere to the Jews? But you know, they are after their own gains. وَيَحْلِفُونَ عَلَى الْقَزِبِ And they take oaths on something which is not which is not true, wrong, and lie. 
وهم يعلمون ان دو ايت نوئنگلي عبد الله لهم عذابا شديدا الله از بريپيرد فور ذم ا فيري سيفير چستائشمنت انهم سا ما كانوا يعملون فيري لي از فيري ايفل بٹ دي ار دوئنگ لن تغني عنهم اموالهم ولا اولادهم من الله شيئا neither their riches nor their children will be of any avail for them from allah subhanahu wa taala ulaik ashab an-nar hum fiha khalidun they are the dwellers of the fire and they will remain in that forever yawma yabasum allah jamian when allah will raise them all fa yahlifuna lahu kama yahlifuna lakum they will swear before allah also as they swear before you وَيَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ عَلَى شَيْءٍ and they will be thinking that they are upon something they have some footing ala innahum humul kazibun behold surely they are the liars istahaza alayhim ash-shaytan satan has gained the control over them fa ansahum zikrullah and he has made them forgetful of allah's remembrance ulai ka hizb ash-shaytan they are the party of shaitan this party of shaitan consists of two parts the kufar openly against islam and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and their agents hypocrites among the muslims legally included as muslims ara inna hizb ash-shaitan humul ka khasirun behold definitely the satan's party they will be the losers in the long run ان الذين يحادون الله ورسوله اولئك في الاذلين ويرلي دوز هو اوبوز ان فايت الله ان المسنجر دي ويل بي امنج ذا موست هيميليتد وانز كتب الله لا غلبنا انا ورسولي الله هاز ديسايدد اند بريسكرايب اند ريتن ات داون سرتينلي اي اند ماي مسنجرز ويل بي فيكتوريوس ذس از ذا ديفاين لا اباوت مسنجرز نوت اباوت بروفيتس prophets were killed also but no messenger of allah could be killed we have read this in surah as-saffat wa laqad sabaqat kalimatuna li ibadin al-mursalin innahum lahum al-mansurun wa inna jundana lahum al-ghalibun this the seal of ours has already passed that those of our servants whom we appoint as our messenger definitely they will be held and definitely our army will be victorious so the same thing comes over here as i told you important subjects are sub- discussed in quran at least at two places so surah safat and here it is katab allah la aghlibanna ana wa rusuli inna allah qawiyyun aziz verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is powerful and mighty and he has all the authority in his hands la tajid qawman yu'minuna billahi wal yawmil akhir you will not find those people who really believe in allah and the last day you are doona man had allah loving those who oppose allah wa rasulahu and his messenger walau kanu abahum although they might be their fathers aw abnahum or their sons aw ikhwanuhum or their brothers aw ashiratuhum or their kindred ulaika kataba fi qulubihim iman they are the people in whose hearts allah subhanahu wa taala has inscribed and engraved iman by yadahum bi ruhi minhu and has helped them with the spirit from him that is jibril the ruh al qudus for wa yudkhiruhum jannatin tajri min tahti al anhar and he will make them enter and admit them in the gardens underneath which the rivers will be flowing razi allah anhum Allah will be pleased with them wa raduan and they will be pleased with him ulaik ahisbullah they are the party of Allah now this is the polarization on the basis of Allah and his messenger people who have belief in Allah and messenger to this side those who don't believe on the other side even if his he is your father he is enemy of Allah you can't love him you can't have any relation with him even if he is your brother walau kana abahum abahum wa abnahum aw ikhwanahum aw ashiratuhum who so ever he might be this polarization has to be complete 
so that Hezbollah, it becomes absolutely pure and free. Ulaika Hezbollah. Now this word Hezbollah appears in this surah and also in Surah Al-Ma'idah. فَإِنَّ إِزْبَلَّهِ هُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ In Surah Al-Ma'idah, غَالِبُونَ the party of Allah will be dominant, will be victorious, will be supreme. And here, Ulaika Hezbollah, Allah inna Hezbollah humul muflihun. Verily, the Hezbollah, they are going to be the prosperous and successors. Falah is for the hereafter. And Ghalaba, domination, is in this world. So there are two promises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Hezbollah. Number one, in this world, they will be helped and Allah will give them the victory. This is in Surah Maidah. Verily, the people who belong to the Hizb of Allah, only they are going to succeed. Now let me, because I have two minutes, let me give you the hadith. The importance of this jama'ah. There's a hadith. Inni amurukum bi khamsin. The Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Verily, O Muslims, I command you five things. Allahu amarani bihinna. And I'm not doing it on my own. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded me to do so. What are those five things? Bil jama'ah Party. You must belong to a party. Was summary. And to listen to the leader of the party. Was taate. And obeying the decisions of the party. Was jihad fi sabiri. Was hijrah. And making hijrah in the way of Allah. Was jihad fi sabiri Allah. And then you can make jihad fi sabiri Allah. Jihad fi sabillah essential. As we read yesterday in Surah al Hujrat, if there is no jihad, there is no iman. It's the necessary constituent of iman. Innamal mu'minun al lazina amanu billahi wa rasulihi subalam yartabu wa jahadu bi amwalihim wa anfusihim fi sabillah. Ulaika humu sadiqoon. Verily, the true Muslims are only those who believe in Allah and His Messenger. Then doubt not, and then they do jihad in the way of Allah, with their belongings and their lives. This jihad, for that you need a party. This party should be a very disciplined party. Some of that, listen and obey. To Adil Haris al-Ash'ari, razi Allah ta'ala an, ta'ala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inni amurukum bi khamsin, Allahu amarani bihinna, bil jama'ate, wal sam'i, wal ta'ate, wal hijrate, wal jihad fi sabirillah. This hadith has been included by Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal in his Musnad. Also Imam Tirmidhi in his Jameh. And this thing has gone out of our sight and out of our mind. We don't feel something lacking. Are you involved in this struggle of Iqamatul Deen? Or not? If yes, with what group? Which party? If you any party, existing party, go on. You can form a party of your own. All the parties today which are present, they are also, none of them is led by a Nabi. There is no Nabi. No Nabi after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you can have the... You are also not a Nabi. Okay, go ahead. And you can have a party. But without party, La Islama illa bil jama'ah. This is the saying of Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And the saying of a messenger, of a companion of the messenger is also called hadith. This is hadith. And no less a companion than Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The second topmost sahabi. La islama illa bil jama'ah. Wala jama'ah illa bil imara. Wala imara illa bil sama'ah. Wala sama'ah illa bil ta'ah. No islam without jama'ah. No jama'ah without amir, imara. No use of having an amir without listening to him. And no use of listening to him if you are not obeying him. May Allah give us the right guidance. 
and give us the correct understanding of our duties as Muslims. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم. الله أكبر الله أكبر. The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.